one of the companies helping us get this out here is Lawrence. So we're going to do a Lawrence ghost story. So we'll talk about the ghost, ghost, name, ghost story. Yeah. Talk about the new trailer motor a little bit. The only experience I've had with it, and I'll turn you loose, I shot some stuff uh, for bass, wired to fish, angler, several different sites. I did a day on the water with Scott Canterbury, and um, he had it. And that was the first time I saw it. And one of the coolest things, and it's so simple, it's such a small thing. But at the, the head of it, the R2-D2 part, you know, where it kind of mm -hmm. reinvented it. But at the head, there's like a little clip there, and it's like a guide for your cable. Yeah, and I'm used to snatching up from the midsection of the trolling motor and all that weight's there. You kind of pull your line, your cable over and put it inside that guide and it gives you so much more leverage and it's so much easier to set it and pick it up. And all. That was yeah, one of the there's, there's no cables in there. It's, uh, you know, wireless uh, yeah. that works. So there's no cables in there to get kinked. And, and yeah, it runs right down the, the bracket. So when you're picking that trolling motor up and putting it down, there's no there's nothing to get hung on anything else in the boat. It's just so neat and tidy. I do, I do love that feature as well. But and one of the biggest things for me is that I wanted to see in, in the ghost. And when it came up was the, was the anchor feature, you know, and the, you know, the Minn Kota call it the spot lock. Um, but the, the thing I like about with the, with the ghost is that it's extremely quiet and it keep, keeps you extremely still. You know, and I, the, the picture you're showing now is from a video I did as a first look when I first got it out there on the water and kind of was first trying it out. Uh, that was actually the very first time I, I used it. And and there's two things that go with it. That point one um, that you see just to the left there of the of the bracket, that white that white puck there, that's the point one um, antenna. And that is from from my experience, it's the most accurate. Uh, antenna on the market and it's also directional so that part keeps you you know pinpoint accuracy as far as where you are in relationship to the to the actual waypoint and then the other part is is the software behind it it keeps you very still it doesn't it doesn't you know bounce you back and forth even if there's really no wind blowing it doesn't bounce you back and forth uh, it, it keeps you real still if it drifts off the spot it'll just kind of ease you back up onto the spot it doesn't bounce you back and forth. That's one of the things I've been most excited about. But being that it was so new, they did not, you know, Lawrence did not have the software in order to have the 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 ghost unit talk with the the HDS live units until just recently. And and actually today, this morning, I updated all my units and I'm looking forward to the next time I'm getting on the water and seeing uh, how many different features you can adjust on the, the trolling motor. There, there's a couple extra buttons at the base of it, and, and those are programmable, so I can change those. Just like the, the buttons uh, on the right side of your HTS Live units, those are programmable buttons. You can um, put your preference of, of what you want on there. I can do the same thing uh, with those two buttons down at the bottom uh, on, the, on that Ghost foot pedal. So it's just, uh, just going to be really, really interesting and really cool to see how all that stuff uh, fits together. Yeah, that uh, that's one awesome piece of machinery. Like I just said, I just had that little bit of time with uh, Canterbury's that day and checked it out, and it was pretty pretty uh, sturdy, like really impressively built as far as the, the actual, you know, the brand. Solid, yeah. But it's solid. That's that's the thing that I liked about it because you know we're rough. I, I'm really rough. I'll be honest on all my stuff, and you know I need something that won't bump a stump and shatter. So it right. seems like it's pretty impressive piece of equipment, but, uh, yeah. So what, uh, how fast can you go with that thing? Cause I mean, that's it, what well, it's got a brushless motor in it. And, and to me, it's not as much about speed because I, I don't race anybody with my trolling motor, so to speak. Uh, but the, the biggest thing for me is, is that the brushless motor is 30% more efficient than a regular motor so your, your battery your battery whatever type of battery you have i've got lithium batteries but whatever type of batteries you have they're going to last you know up to 30 percent longer because the trolling motor is more efficient as it's uh, as it's being run during the course of the day and that that adds up man